Met Gala is one of Hollywood's biggest and most prestigious events of the year. From home, fans watch their favorite celebrities walk the red carpet, sporting bold and expensive fashion pieces to fit the event's theme, and for the most part, things go smoothly apart from a handful of questionable fashion statements. But there have been a number of scandals over the years that have happened at the event. Today, we're going to talk about some of those moments as we count down the top 10 celebrity scandals that happened at the Met Gala. At number 10, Streaker. Like I mentioned before, the Met Gala is one of the most prestigious events of the year. Image is everything when it comes to the gala, and there's a lot of effort that's put into making sure that things go smoothly. So when there's any kind of hiccup, then things go south pretty quickly. Take for example one unruly quote unquote guest who was not invited to the event, but who showed up anyway. At the 2014 Met Gala, everyone got quite the shock when a man wearing a hot pink mankini and gold chain ran through the event. He really tried to come in hot there, but since this was such a high profile event, every precaution was taken and the man was stopped and barely even reached the red carpet. This event has so much security because you never know who's going to do what, so luckily there were enough staff to clue in to watch what was going on and stop it before things got too out of hand. This streaker, who remains unidentified, still got his 15 seconds of fame though, so I guess maybe he's happy enough with that experience. At number 9, the Kardashians. Apparently the Kardashians are banned from a lot of Hollywood events, like the Oscars for example. And for a while there, they were also unwelcome at the Met Gala. Though they are obviously welcome there now, that's only because they got the plug from Kanye. Anna Wintour, the editor in chief of Vogue, apparently had something against the Kardashians and even went so far as to call them the quote, antithesis of fashion and class." End quote. Sassy. She allegedly banned them from attending the Met for years, and being a prominent trustee and financial holder at the Metropolitan Museum of Art where the function is held, her ruling stuck, at least until Kanye came into the picture. Apparently Anna and Kanye are very good pals, so once Kanye came into the Kardashian family, Anna couldn't refuse him, and so she allowed the Kardashians entry. Some thought that since Kanye and Kim aren't together anymore, that Anna would take back the Kardashians invitation, but I guess maybe they've entered into Anna's good graces since then. Now before I carry on talking about these celebrity scandals, I would like to first take a moment to ask you guys to consider leaving a like on this video if you're enjoying it so far because it really helps the channel out. At number 8, cultural appropriation. Every year the Met Gala has a chosen theme and the people who attend the event are urged to show up in some kind of couture that fits said theme. For a lot of celebrities they work alongside some pretty prestigious designers to come up with the perfect look for the gala, but sometimes they can go too far and end up offending people in the process. Take for example some of the Met Gala looks from 2015. The theme of the gala that year was quote, China through the looking glass, and a lot of people found that many of the stars who attended the event that night were appropriating Chinese culture. Many fans took to the internet to criticize a lot of the looks from that night, saying that too many of them fell into Chinese stereotypes and appropriated much of the culture and history. Among one of the most heavily criticized celebrity looks was Sarah Jessica Parker's headpiece, which was criticized for its quote, dragon lady stereotype. A lot of fans made the point that these celebrities could have just worn pieces from Chinese designers to fit the theme rather than appropriate the culture. At number 7, Influencers. The Met Gala is such a high profile event that you have to be personally invited in order to attend. Well I mean you have to be invited and pay roughly 30 grand to attend, but it's still a very prestigious event. Or at least that's what people used to think about it anyway, because there are those who say that in recent years the exclusivity of the Met Gala has really decreased ever since influencers have started getting invited to the event. In recent years, influencers like Liza Koshy and James Charles have been in attendance, and at this year's gala, social media stars like Addison Rae, Dixie D'Amelio, and Madison Beer walked the red carpet at the Met. A lot of people don't consider these internet personalities and influencers as celebrities, and so they don't see them as welcome at huge Hollywood events like this. But what is your take on this? Do you think that internet celebrities should be welcome at events like these? And if not, where do we draw the line on who can and can't come? Is the question of how did you get famous going to become a criteria for events like these? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. At number 6, Naked Box Man. Basically every year at the Met Gala, bold fashion statements are being made. We have people dressing like Dementors, like Kim K did at the event this year, we have people wearing political statements on their clothes, and they even have people bringing insane props with them on the red carpet. But back in 2017, one person made too bold a statement and actually got kicked out of the event because of it. An artist by the name of Fyodor Pavlov Andreevich was going to attend the Met and decided to be excellent extra bold with his quote unquote look and decided to get naked and stuffed in a fiberglass box. 
Upon arriving at the event, two people carried the artist inside the box into the event's checkpoint, and that's really as far as they got there. One of the guards told them that they had to take the artist away, and they later put a sheet over the box and dragged him away while he was still in the box. Authorities were soon called and the police asked the artist to exit the box, to which he refused, so they arrested him, charged him, and threw him in jail. Really, the takeaway from this is don't be too bold at the Met, and most importantly, wear clothes. It is a fashion event. You can't go to a fashion event without the fashion part. At number five, Tina Fey. The Met Gala isn't for everyone, and that's okay. Not everyone has to be into the whole idea of wearing funky clothes while walking around with other high profile celebrities. One person who really isn't into all that, it seems, is Tina Fey, because she once had some harsh words for the event. Tina was invited to the Met Gala back in 2010, but apparently she didn't have a very good time. Five years later, she opened up about the experience while doing an interview with David Letterman. In the interview, Tina ranted about the gala, calling it a quote, jerk parade. She also went on to say, quote, every jerk from every walk of life is there wearing some stupid thing. It's just everybody, if you had a million arms, it's all the people you would punch in the whole world, end quote. It's a little harsh, but I guess it's kind of valid. At number four, Lena Dunham. Celebrity beefs are nothing new. Everyone has beef with everyone, but it turns out that at one point, a celebrity feud happened at the Met Gala, and it caused some controversy and scandal at the time. At the Met Gala in 2016, Lena Dunham ended up making some comments about Odell Beckham Jr. and it caused a bit of a stir. Dunham alleged that the football player spent the whole evening ignoring her because she quote, didn't fit his standard of woman, end quote. Speaking out about the way that she believed she was being treated by Odell, Lena went on to say quote, It was so amazing because it looked like he looked at me and he determined I was not the shape of a woman by his standards. It was like we were forced to be together and he was literally scrolling Instagram rather than to have to look at a woman in a bow tie. I was like, this should be called the Metropolitan Museum of Getting Rejected by Athletes, end quote. But none of that was actually true though. Odell wasn't trying to be rude, he was just kind of existing while at the event, and Lena just made assumptions. She got called out for her quote, narcissistic comments, and later issued an apology for them. At number three, Demi Lovato. Speaking of beefing with celebrities, we have another story about some drama that caused someone so much discomfort that they literally had to leave the Met. Back in 2016, Demi Lovato was in attendance at the Met Gala, but they didn't end up staying for the whole event. Demi spoke out about how uncomfortable they were that evening, saying that someone was so rude to them that they had to leave the gala and go to an AA meeting. Demi told sources that, quote, this one celebrity was a complete B word and was miserable to be around. It was very clicky. I remember being so uncomfortable that I wanted to drink, end quote. Now, no one knows for sure who this B word that Demi was talking about was, but a lot of people seem to believe that it was Nicki Minaj because of a photo that was posted that shows Demi giving Nicki some serious side eye. There was clearly some kind of drama going on, but other than how Demi was feeling, we don't have many other details as to what happened that night. At number two, smoking. In most establishments, there's a rule against smoking. I mean, back in the day, apparently you could just smoke everywhere and anywhere, but not these days. That rule isn't really anything new, but there are still those select few who choose to disregard that and do it anyway. This is how a scandal was caused at the Met Gala in 2017. A handful of celebrities who attended the gala that year were caught smoking in the venue's bathroom, and that was a serious no-no. Every year, the Met Gala is held at the Metropolitan Museum, and since it's in New York, the city health department has a rule against smoking in specific areas as per their health act. But it seems that although this rule was still in effect at the time of the gala, some celebrities were like nah and had a couple ciggies inside regardless. The stars in question were posting their little rendezvous on social media, which is how they got caught and got into some trouble for it as well. As a result of their rule breaking, the gala as well as the health department put in measures in place to make sure that this kind of thing never happened again so that no one would get fined. And finally, at number one, Solange Knowles. The famous Solange versus Jay-Z elevator battle is one of those moments that will go down in history as one of the messiest celebrity moments. It was a lot to take in at the time because no one knew what was really going on or why this Avengers style battle was even happening. The freak out slash fight slash battle to the death took place at the 2014 Met Gala and though it took place so long ago, there still was never really any solid explanation for this scandal. Some speculate that it was because of a cheating scandal, others thought it could be money, but really 
believe there is no confirmed reason as to why the fight broke out. All we have to analyze from this is surveillance footage that was leaked to the internet that got this whole drama started. In the footage, we see Solange and Jay Z begin what looked like a verbal disagreement, which then turned physical. My guess is that Solange was standing up for her sister and sort of flipped out on the rapper. And this, like I said, sparked cheating rumors. And then this then folded into Beyonce and Jay Z's music, where again, infidelity was hinted at. Bottom line here is that this fight was explosive and caused a lot of drama. Now before I wrap things up, I want you guys to tell me if you guys watched the Met Gala red carpet event this year. And if you did, who do you think had the best look of the night? I think Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez definitely was one of my top choices with her tax the rich dress. But who was your favorite? Let me know down in the comments. Anyways, that's it for me. I'm your host, B. Room, and until next time, stay safe, make good choices, and stay goofy friends. Bye!